this is Terry Lynn with Live True. I wanted to make a video on an update on the dog situation where I'm at. Today is Thursday. It's only uh, it's the same week that I discovered the starving, neglected dogs. And so what I've done today, only because it the weather really turned uh, for the worse. It is extremely windy and it's cold. It's, I, everything's ice, everything iced over. And it was snowing this morning. I could not leave the puppies outside overnight. I just couldn't, last night I couldn't sleep because it was getting cold and it was starting to get windy. And um, um, I went against uh, some of the advice I was given, uh, but I went with other advice I was given to knock on the door and I did that. I talked with uh, the owner of the dogs I almost brought my camera just to put in my pocket so I'd get the conversation, but I forgot to, to bring it until I was halfway there and I didn't. So I was, I had to, I have to approach this on a long-term basis so that nobody gets mad and cuts me off. So I told him, I know he's doing his best. I, I told him where I lived, who I was, shook his hand, um, the house. I just got as far as like this, this area was disgusting. There was piles of garbage on one piled up against the wall uh, dogs everywhere puppies everywhere there's probably there was at least there's I have two and then there's three more so at least five puppies um, so I asked him if I could foster the mama and puppies until I left he was a little reluctant he said he, the dogs usually don't do too well if they're not with their their family you know the pack but they're not together anyway because they're all uh, they're all separated um, they're separated on his land and there's no shelter, there's no trees, it's like flat land, you saw it, it's basically flat, um, and I just couldn't do it. So I have the mama, who's gorgeous, and the two puppies, let me show you. Sweetheart, are you missing mama? Should we go give you to mama now? Huh? I wanted to get a good look at you. Oh, you're so sweet. Let me see you. See you. I don't know if they're male or female, I haven't looked at really close. So I am going to actually bring them out to mama. Let me show you mama first. Well, I can't do the camera in there. Hopefully she's still there. I gotta figure out a better way to chain her. Hi mama! Hi mama! And she's been fed. She will, oh, she's moved this thing big time. She, um, I can't, you know, feed her too much because I've already fed her enough and I don't want her to throw up, but she's starving. Um, she's not skin and bones yet, uh, but she's a sweetheart. You are a sweetheart, right? Yes, you are. You be, you be a sweetheart. You be a sweetheart for me, okay? I'll take care of you. I am going to put them under the house. There is, um, I don't know if the way. There is uh, a lot of, a lot more shelter under there. It's from the wind, and you know I've padded it a little bit. They're gonna. It's, it's a definite upgrade. It's a definite upgrade. So I'm very happy that um, I'm able to do this, um, and I didn't have to steal her. <laughs> so he knows where they are, and I told him to come and check, and I would let him know how it goes. Uh, I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take care of them, so I'm sure that um, uh, it's gonna work out fine. The dog's gonna be much more happier here. So I just took the puppies out to be with Mama. She's actually not that concerned about the puppies, I don't think, because she's starving to death. <clears throat> I just gave her some water and she's gulping that down, so she's dehydrated as well. I wish I could get some of this on camera because she basically hugged me when I went out there. She gave me these thank you eyes. I am not making this up. Like she came up on me and she put her paws on each of my shoulders and looked in my eyes, obviously wanting more food, but just the, the face. Oh my God, I'm not even a dog person. People that know me know I'm not a dog person. Like I'm a cat person. <laughs> like this is very unusual. So anyway, um, I'm gonna have to fix the chain. I gotta figure out a way, I need a tool. Uh, to make it so that uh, it stays. So getting the dogs were, was easier than I thought. Uh, it went just as my friend Stephanie had said it would, that the owner would be happy to give one of them up, and he was reluctant. He thought it was a missionary. I told him where I lived, and this house does belong to the church, and um, he was like, well, you know, I when I told him where I lived, he assumed I was a missionary, and then he started making excuses for not going to church. <laughs> which is funny, and I started to realize, I'm like, oh, I said, oh, no, no, and I told him I was a teacher when I first met him, but, you know, when you first, someone's first at your door, and you don't really hear everything they say, because you're just, you know, all these things are run through your mind, 
So I reminded him that I was no, I said I was a teacher, but then I explained actually what I did over there. And um, he, then he said, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So he thought I was like a missionary on some kind of mission, you know, and I, I explained, no, I just noticed. And um, I know it's gonna be cold tonight, so I wanted them out of the cold and, and all that. So um, I will stop by there tomorrow and let him know how it went, which is, I'm gonna always, I'm, I'm gonna say it went well, no matter what. And he knows where I live. I doubt he's gonna check. Uh, he's a raging alcoholic, I'm told, who abuses these animals, so he's not going to care. So three so far have been saved. Probably 40 to go, but I'm just gonna do what I can do. So today is a good day. I, by the way, I did feed um, the rat. I'm calling him the rat. I don't know what he has in him. I'm f I fed him. He was, you know, dying. He was starving too. There's other dogs. There's a couple other dogs that are chained the same way. I haven't even begun to get to them yet. I, you know, there's a good piece of advice that um, that I heard and that I kind of live by. Uh, I had I was kind of living by anyway. And it is better if you can help a few people really well instead of spreading yourself out so thin that you're really not helping on anybody really. So if a few people can just help a few people or animals and we all do that, then we'll be good. Not that that's ever gonna happen around the world, but. So I try to concentrate my, my efforts on a few areas and that way I feel successful and I am successful and um, hopefully that spreads. So then it can spread because hopefully I have upgraded someone's life. So until tomorrow, this is Terry Lynn. Hey, so today is Sunday. Thought I'd give you a little update on the dog situation and shout out to Wisconsin first. Yay. I had to bring a little piece of home with me here. That is home, by the way, Wisconsin. Uh, Phoenix is second home. Anyway, um, so right now I'm on my way to Stephanie's house, my friend that I've been speaking of. She owns Yukon. We're going to go feed all the dogs. That just gives me warm fuzzies left and right. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I was able to get some uh, kibble dog food and that's nice um, to have otherwise I've been feeding them stuff that I can just scrounge up you know I've got a bunch of uh, sticky white rice that was left at this house so I um, that's mama dog right there I made a big pot of that and I've had some um, uh, just random like lunch meats and stuff that I had um, that I had um, from here, and so I've been giving that. So anyway, I know, I know, okay. So that's what I'm doing. Um, they're doing okay. Hi, hey, they're doing okay. Um, Mama's getting used to being here. She got off leash. Ow, ow. Say that. The first, yikes. The first, um, within the first 24 hours, and ran back home, which was only a few houses down. Um, she didn't get off leash on purpose. She was trying to reach a bag of um, cracked wheat that I had sitting outside and uh, I didn't have the leash on correctly. All right, I'll show you her in a second. So she's getting used to me. She's um, always looking me, looking to me for validation and um, she's starving. I'm, I'm, I'm feeding her a little bit at a time. Well, more than a little bit, um, more so now. Um, but uh, she just can't get enough and I know if I give her too much, she'll just throw it up. So she's got worms. Um, so I have a dewormer actually that I've started giving her. Uh, I she pooped on the, on our walk yesterday and there was like white worms crawling in the law. So I happen to have some dewormer with me. So I'm using that. Um, so that's the update. We're gonna we have three dog houses. Uh, Stephanie does that we're going to portion out, portion out uh, when we can get a vehicle. Hers is, is, is on the mend. So they're heavy. Um, maybe we'll do that today. I, I don't know how we'll do it, but um, I'm gonna get some filming on what we're doing. So um, that's it. Uh, I've had the babies in um, every day for you know hours at a time because it's just cold out and their their coats aren't, in, in my estimation, quite thick enough for this kind of weather, especially overnight. Uh, one of them has taken a liking to me. I call him Little Bear. He looks like a little bear cub. The other one's more shy. He prefers to be, you know, by mama. So I, I normally let him do that. And um, they're actually eating some food inside. I don't know if that's okay, um, but they're eating it. Um, they're, I don't know that mama's nursing enough and she might not have enough milk. 
um, their pee is running pretty clear. So whether that's a good thing or bad, I don't know. So uh, I will update you uh, when I get over to my friend's house. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Is that good? <laughs> You're right in the bowl. Hi, it's the next day. I wasn't able to do any filming yesterday because my friend Stephanie, when I went over to her house, she actually has Wi-Fi, and the school at Wi-Fi has been really sketchy and choppy, so I haven't been able to upload anything. So I took advantage of her Wi-Fi, left my phone there while we did our dog runs, and um, finally successfully uploaded another video, my fish camp video, which happened, what, like two, three weeks ago, and I've been trying to upload it for a week. So that was done, and so I'll just update you now. Um, we were able to deliver one dog house and we were able to feed all of the dogs yesterday. It was just about an hour, uh, hour and a half, and um, a lot has happened today, so I wanted to update you on that. A few more of the snafus are that I do not own this house. I do not even rent this house. The school does. And so I would have to sign a lease for any animals that I have and put down a deposit on each. I don't have a problem with that. But there's also um, possible um, issues with, with, you know, kids that are coming over and there's a dog here. I mean, I can still probably deal with that too. Um, I just don't know the situation here very well and I don't know the people and it just makes me a little nervous. But still I'm willing. However, I am leaving for 10 days starting Friday. Today's a Monday. And I really don't have anyone to come over and feed the dogs, take care of them. So I've been racking my brain. I figured I would just take them back to where they came from and um, then see the situation when I get back. And that's what I'm going to do. However, I talked with our maintenance guy at the school and he is going to be building a dog house big enough for mama and babies. So um, we gave him a little money for that. He um, has dogs of his own and he had some extra plywood and he was actually making a dog house anyway. So I hopefully it'll be done by Friday. So I'm going to be taking these dog, dogs back to where they came from. It's a relatively safe area as far as um, their, their safety goes, as long as they're taken care of. So I'm going to, um, they'll have shelter, which is one of the things that, you know, obviously they needed. And they're going to be fed because my friend Stephanie works in the clinic. The dogs are right in the backyard. So she's going to take care of the feeding. So um, I'm all set there. So I will figure out what the situation is when I get back at the end of October and um, foster them more if I want to or if I need to or concentrate my efforts more on more, more houses, getting more homes for the dogs and feeding them all and that kind of thing. So that might be better, um, my, my time and resources better well spent. So that's what's going on. I don't think that's it. I was able also to get a huge, actually Stephanie did, she was given a huge box of kitchen scraps today, leftovers. And uh, just to give you an idea of what that might look like, I'll show you a picture of it right now. And so that's what fed uh, four, at least four dogs. There's a lot of food there. Very heavy. <laughs> I had to carry it from school. A lot of liquid in there. So that was fantastic today. Made it a lot easier as well. So um, until next time, that's the situation, and thanks for watching. Come here, little bear. Come here, little bear. Hey, hi. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>